Uh, no, sir, I do not. Um, uh, our team is very motivated. Uh, we're willing to learn. Um, we know that we can't uh, dwell on the past and things that we don't have control of anymore. Uh, we know that they just keep pushing forward, uh, keep playing for each other, and um, hopefully the rest of the season goes as planned as how we want it to go. Jalen, facing another quarterback who can run the ball, how is the preparation different, or is it different than it was for Harris last week? Um, I wouldn't say uh, much different. We're just, just working on a little bit more than we did last week. Um, you know, they do a lot of stuff with their quarterback runs. And they run all types of schemes with their quarterback. So we'll just stay on there all we can practice, and it'll be a point of emphasis a, a lot more, a little bit more than it was last week. Jalen and Cam, which was talking about the recruiting process and all the recruits that were there. Did you guys have to go out with the recruits Saturday evening and show them around or do anything with the recruits? I, I didn't have any recruits, so. No, sir, I didn't have any recruits this weekend. Harder to deal with than the losses to Georgia and Oklahoma, or is it the same thing? Um, pretty much the same thing. Um, nobody is uh, complacent with losing. Um, no, nobody is satisfied with losing, um, especially if we know that we um, should have been won those games and the mental errors and the, and the mistakes we had in those games kind of cost us those games. Um, more of just beating ourselves than our opponents beating us. And um, it happens. And uh, just after those games, we, we learn from those mistakes. Uh, we, we correct those things the day after um, coming in on Sundays and watching film and things like that so that we prepare ourselves better and uh, just going out the next week and uh, learn, like I said, learn from those mistakes and hoping they don't want to happen again. So. Jalen Bush said that this defense is overachieving right now. Do you feel the same way that you guys are playing kind of above what you guys are capable of? Um, I mean, us as a defense, we wouldn't say that. I mean. You know, we, we put in work with each other all summer, all year. You know, we, we trust everybody. We know everybody's got each other's back. We count on everybody. So, I mean, we're just playing our game. That's what we try to come out and do every, every Saturday, just play our game. When you look at it's just, I mean, you guys played so well with the last couple of games, the fourth quarter that had been some last. What do you need to correct specifically at the end of all games to close out? Just finishing our games. Um, the big thing is uh, just protecting our leads, and uh, when we have our leads on those on teams and in the games, um, just got to do a better job of just finishing out those games and protecting that lead. Cam had talked about what how the team responded, how they were going to respond this week. But for you, Jalen, just how what was the response Sunday coming off that loss? Just how do you feel? Just the attitude of the team, and the I mean, um, a loss is a loss, whether it's. Oklahoma loss, the Georgia loss, you know, everyone's going to hurt after that loss. It's, it's that much worse because it's Florida, you know, it's a rivalry game, but, you know, we're going to hurt for a while, but every, everyone's going to bounce back. We're not going to live on that. We're going to be ready to go next week and just start focusing forward starting today. Jalen, did you guys sense when Florida made a quarterback change that the Florida team seemed to get more revved up and seemed to, seemed to play a little harder after they made that change? Um. No, I, I wouldn't say that, but uh, I mean, maybe it, it looked different from the stands, but as far as on the field, uh, I didn't see really a big difference in their play as much as just their play calling and what they were doing. So, I, I mean, I didn't see that much of a difference, just just with their scheme changed a little bit. Cam, you said that the team needs to learn how to close out games. Do you think it's that, or do you think it's because your defense is on the, on the field a lot more than the offense? Because there are three possessions in a row in the fourth quarter where the offense was off the field less than a minute. You think? Would you put them more on the defense or would you put them more on the offense, not execute? Um, I wouldn't, I don't put anything on offense. Um, our job um, as a defense is just to get the ball back to our offense. And um, we don't control those things, but we uh, we preach to the team just playing complimentary football, playing for each other, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. And all that, all those things go to hand in hand throughout the game. So, uh, like, for a defense standpoint, we just got to continue to get out the field on third down, keep getting stops and turnovers, and getting the ball back to the offense. And that just gives them more opportunities to put up points and things like that. Kim, are you guys as a defense starting to feel pressure to score? Uh, no, I don't. we don't feel like 
Uh, we have to score. Um, our job is to stop teams from scoring. And like I said, getting the ball back to our offense. And if scoring comes with it, with defense, I mean, it's always good to put up extra points on the board. But like I said, it's, it's just our job to keep playing complimentary football, keep playing for each other, and um, keep getting the ball back for our offense. To, so hopefully they'll do great things with it. And the more opportunities they get, the more points, the more chance they get to put more points up on the board. Uh, I kind of, I kind of saw a little bit of myself in him. Um, he's confident. He's got confident uh, throughout the week. He works very hard. I prepare. He prepares well. I know he's my roommate the night before a game. So we're up. We're up um, watching film, last minute film, last minute notes, and uh, game tips that we have going into the game and things like that. And um, he's always in my ear. He stays on me. Uh, he keeps me motivated. He drives me. So when I see him out there, um, I don't. I don't feel like. I have to worry about him. I don't have to baby him or anything like that because I'm confident in him. I'm confident in him, and uh, the rest of the team is confident in him. And I mean, if we if we didn't have any confidence in him, he wouldn't be on the field. So that kind of tells you uh, the confidence we have in him to put him out there. Jalen, can you talk about the defensive line kind of as a whole and how they progressed and, and really helped this defense? Oh, uh, um, the line has definitely been playing good. You know, those guys um, they they hold themselves hold each other really accountable in that room. Uh, no, all those guys are always going hard. They, they stay coach. They probably coach each other the most out of out of all the position groups on the team. And you know, when those guys are on, they're playing good. It, it helps everybody on the defense out. It helps us linebackers. It helps the D back, defensive backs out back there. So when, when the D line's on, it definitely helps the whole defense. That's where it starts. There were a lot of VFLs in town this past weekend. Have any of those guys reached out to you guys and given y'all any advice or props or anything like that? Um. We see them around a lot. Um, they come back a lot, and we appreciate those guys coming back for us, um, to come to the games, being in our meetings and things like that. Uh, they're in a, in their locker room before the games like that. Um, just standing in our ear, uh, giving us positive feedback, things we need to work on, things we need to correct, things like that, moving forward uh, into the future. And uh, like I said, we appreciate those guys coming back, um, everything they did for us in this program.